This one was pretty much my pick. But why? We want to go fast, that's why. That's why. This whole thing is just like, it's ridiculous. So it's why a not? freaking meme. <laughs> yeah, it is. We got low. We got low, man. Yeah. We took a 120 horsepower sport bike and swapped a six and a half horsepower lawnmower engine onto it. And we intend on making it road legal and bringing it to a bike show. But first, this thing needs more power. Its top speed is about 28 miles an hour and that's just dangerous for public roads. So behold, still a lawnmower based engine, the Tillotson 225. We are tripling the power output. We're also doing some beautification and safety mods. First off, we're gonna start with this tire. We got the seat cover and dual exhaust. That's gonna be awesome. We're gonna send Ike off with this camera right here and he's going to the store to surprise us with a seat cushion. Have fun. The one-armed man is going out and picking up materials for a seat on the bike that they're gonna ride. All right, we can do that. We got the engine removed. About to start changing this rear tire. There was not much left on this. Look at that. Gnarly. Yeah. And it was and it was starting to cut cut into there just going around the track. <gasps> That's pretty good. I absolutely love that. But it's not not waterproof so let's say no to that there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of vinyl which is what I was looking for I was looking for some vinyl you know this is kind of cool it's kind of like a bandana Ooh. so here's the old power plant here is the new power plant. They're the same physical size and everything. They're uh, both Honda clones. Uh, this is 212 cc's. This one is 225 cc's. It comes with about 18 horsepower right out of the box with the small carburetor option, 22 millimeter Makuni from gopowersports.com. They are the sponsor of today's video. If you want to check out these parts, you can see them at links in the description of this video. Let's put it in there. Thank you. Yeah. New power plants going in. We uh, did replace those nuts with uh, some proper spacers. So we're good to go. I think you can actually, can't you get those spacers at Go Power Sports? Yes, you can. I am back. And, uh, I really hope they're gonna like the materials that I picked. Oh goodness. Might need to pop that kill switch out, which like we did on the other one. But that's okay. But other than that, it's, uh, it's in there. I'm gonna dump off these over here before getting to the top, because I don't want them to see it. I mean, this one's probably going to be the sure deal right here. Okay. Drop off that one. This thing's looking good, man. What do you say we check in on Ike? Yeah. That's why. What's up? All our engine bolts are tight and the engine is tensioned. Charles is working on getting the valve stem out so we can change this tire. That 
sounds like you got it. It was a valve core. Huh? Valve core. It wasn't the valve stem. We need, we still need that. Sorry. Oh yeah, core. Yeah. I got back. Yeah. With the material, so let's see it, man. Sure, sure, sure. It's a, uh, it's a uh, not. Well. Oh, I love it, dude. Oh my goodness. Is it Day of the Dead? Yeah. That is cool. I We're gonna like have it. to put a plastic bag under because this is not really waterproof. Like I said, they had a lousy selection. But that's pretty cool. But I did get two more things. Okay. Uh, just in case y'all weren't happy with this. But this one was pretty much my pick. I love it. <laughs> so for a bit of normalcy. Oh. Got this, but I know that this material, like, when it gets, starts to get old, it just flies to pieces. Oh, the little squares come up. Oh, is it, is it faux alligator? It's it's kind of vinyl-ish. Okay. Since I'm a big hanky fan, there's like a handkerchief type material. Fuck that. So the only one that's really waterproof is this one right here. Damn. What do we do? All right, so I've got the fuel system plumbed in. Got a fuel filter on there. Ike is working on a twist grip. Charles is working on the exhaust. Why? But why? We want to go fast, that's why. That's why. What do we got, boys? What's up? Well, we were gonna uh, bend some tube. Bend some tube. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how I have, in the past, broken beads on tires, motorcycle tires and car tires. Doesn't necessarily work every time, but we're gonna try it on in this case because, I mean, we don't wanna go to a tire shop, do we? So you gotta get your dually, yeah. put it in reverse with a board. Yeah. I'm guessing just back it up, Terry. I'm hoping the board doesn't uh, pop up. Might have to put a smaller board there. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh yeah. Oh, it's on the rim. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pull forward and yeah, you're gonna have to pull them pucks out. Uh, let's take a picture of them, because they're one-sided. Boom. All right. Now let's flip it over. Good job, boys. Hey! I got the new tire installed. I took the old seat cover off of the rest of the seat and it's out in the sun drying off because it's kind of wet. Uh, so I'm going to reinstall this rear wheel, and we're going to check in on Charles, who's uh, buttoning up the exhaust. We're going to have dual exhaust on this thing, boys. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. So what we got going on here is a, basically we have capped off the original exhaust where it ran under the frame. We cut it and capped it there, so that way these two pipes are basically a sealed Y. I've done a plunge cut here to where we have a slip joint. Oh gosh, I haven't tacked any of this, so we'll raise it that way. Bam. So as long as I can tack this little plug in here, we'll have dual exhaust. Awesome. All right. Cover. Yep. What's up, buddy? Heat is so good. Oh, it's it's so, so good. good. You're doing a fine job on it, buddy. Well, I had some help. Some Isaac here. Can't can't say you had too much help. Day of the Dead was the right call, man. Is that what it is? Day of the Dead. Pretty darn sure. Pretty sure. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. awesome. I cannot wait to see it on the bike. On the bike. Right? Yeah. With the dual exhaust. Yeah. Uh, anyone who uh, wants our leftover Day of the Dead, any order you place on our website, cars-cameras.com, we're going to throw these in while supplies last. Day of the Dead. Nice. Here's Nowhere. a quick reminder that our summer 2021 giveaway is almost halfway over. We are giving away a brand new Rascal mini bike kit from GoPowerSports.com. Uh, all orders placed on our website, cars-cameras.com, get you automatically entered to win this mini bike. It's a great way to show your support for cars and cameras, get some awesome high quality merchandise, and uh, get entered to win a killer bike as well. Try to set this bike down, what do you say? I think it's a good idea. Do you need me to... I got the kickstand out. I'm just going to make sure Yeah. I hold it this way. So you have the exhaust done. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to get to on that side, but it's plumbed in dual exhaust. Pipes are crooked. You know what? Are they? This needs to come up. I think that's it. Fine adjustment tool. All right. So going on with the uh, tail section, what holds the front part of the? Uh... Oh, there's oh, some screws. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're if we're missing a piece that there's connects a... to there to there, but we, we probably have all we should have all the plastic for this. We just have we just yeah. haven't dug around. We gotta find something else yeah. that gets attached to it. Either that or we'll make something. And John's over there working on that seat. And I gotta say, it is looking like fantastic. Oh my can you do, gosh. Can you do the upholstery in my square body? Uh, not if you want it to look good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that, that looks fantastic. I think that looks just good, dude. Just don't look under here. But, uh, I, you know, no. I think everybody's home seat job looks exactly the same. The one I did looked a lot worse. So. All right, so here in a few minutes, we're gonna have that seat on that bike and are we at the point where we can uh, crank this thing up yep. yeah. and listen to it run oh my goodness oh yeah it might be a little crooked but it's on there that looks great dude. that oh i'm just looking at the that proud dad moment right there Look at that. This whole thing is just like... It's ridiculous. So it's why a not? freaking meme. <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. And it's got the functioning dual exhaust. Wow. Well, we don't know yet. We ready to hear it? We gotta crank it up. Are we ready? Are we ready? I, I'm, I'm putting on the flaming heat shield, so... You got to. We oh, got to do so that. So, right after the flaming heat shields, we're gonna crank it up. Shout out to our sponsor, Sunoco Racing Fuels. We love Optima. Oh, we got some movement. We have fuel in the line. First start. Uh, choke uh, on? Yeah. Choke is on. All right. Yep. That's why you have your stuff jacked up when you start it up for the first time. Uh, yeah, remember how I was concerned about that throttle cable? Yeah. yeah I'm going to say that. That was the... So it's got to be loosened up some more. Yep. It ran. I smell burning rubber. It already Can did a burnout. Can you take the filter loose? Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, that's... Well, how did that happen? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we, it's the way it's... Uh... Went wound up? Yep. Probably the way it's wound. Ready? Oh, it sounds... Oh, it sounds so cool. Get 
We gotta fix the rear brake, then it's time for a test drive. Hey, buddy. Are we ready? Oh, I'm ready. And the rear brakes work now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> that seat. Yeah, it's something it's like, else, dude. Okay, it was popping inside. But it's like, it's not bad. <laughs> it's like, wow out here. Hey. Bad to the bone, dude. getting up in those rpms too why didn't we give them the phone that's a lot of rpms yeah we got to figure out this top speed quick all right let's see if i can turn it around up here without laying it down You say 38 you're dead on the money 38.2 all right 
No kidding. So you're you're accurate off the bike. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> nice job, man. Sorry, that was so 38. That was a mean joke. So, uh, and it stops exceptionally good. Well. It's even on this surface. I mean, you know, it, it just, it'll lock the tire up, but just just, just All right, be careful. So change the gear. Yep. I change. feel like we we can probably get like 42 without affecting too much of the bottom end. Well, we need more than 42, man. We might lose a lot of the bottom end. I mean, we can try to get it. Well, we want a road I, trip I think this I thing. Need, I, I, I'm thinking due to this carburetor, we have some RPM suffrage. Because it really feels like it's just not... Oh, I mean, It sounds like it's turning plenty hard. Okay. We want it to achieve a good top speed of like 50 was ideal. Yeah. Well, I thought it was 65. Uh, I was thinking it was 50. Well, we can't... Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I mean... But 50 without it being at the top of the RPM. Oh, we wanted to be able to cruise at 50. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, so we need to make a pretty so drastic gearing right, change. So it's screaming right now. Because, I mean, I, it, sound, it sounds like good, but seven grand that with these mufflers, it's not. it doesn't actually sound like it. I mean, maybe, you know. Sounds good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, gear change and give her a shot. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, you know... I'm worried about the hills and stuff, but the road... The road has hills, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Especially this area. All right, so uh, the next thing's... Got our work cut out for us, man. Gear ratio. It's a pretty drastic gearing change. It, it really is. So in today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we tripled the horsepower output, went from 6.5 to about 18 horsepower with this Tillotson 225 engine. Uh, we have our work cut out for us because we're planning on road tripping this bike, making it street legal again, and taking it to a bike show. 38 miles an hour isn't bad, but we need a lot more. So we need some grass drastic gearing changes. We're about to go in the shop to see if we could even fit a second engine above our current one. That would be awesome. Let us know in the comments what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up. We'll catch you next time. Try to get some air and